Hey guys, um, it's Kaylee here from Fitness Moves You, and today I wanted to talk about, um, just real quick, about my thoughts on the Biggest Loser finale. Um, I didn't watch it until Wednesday because I don't have cable, because um, I'm cheap, too cheap to buy it, but um, I did see it on Hulu, and I just wanted to kind of share what my thoughts were. Um, I Everyone has different body types. Everyone has a different happy weight as I like to call it, um, which is pretty much just like a natural weight that your body is comfortable at, that, you know, you you still need to eat healthy, obviously, but you don't have to starve yourself or cut out any of the major food groups or work out five hours a day or anything like that. And I know everyone is different. So I would just want to preface this uh, by saying that I know everyone's different. However, I was really disappointed by the winner, Rachel, last night. Um, let me show you guys a picture of what she looked like. So she used to weigh 260 pounds. She's five foot four, and she now weighs 105 pounds. Um, I don't know what her body fat composition is, and quite frankly, that's usually what I care more about. Um, if you guys read the blog, you know that I I don't really follow, or I don't really believe in BMI, and I don't really like I said, everyone has a different happy weight, so just it's too hard to tell. Um, however, it is pretty clear in this society when you see someone who is borderline anorexic or has an eating disorder, you can usually tell. Um, I've had a lot of close friends who have problems with eating disorders, and I know the difference um, between when they are, you know, not eating or doing crazy things to keep their weight super, super low. I know the difference between what they look like in that moment versus what they look like when they're healthy and, you know, they're eating whole foods and they're nourishing their body and they're exercising properly and all that stuff. So, I, when I saw Rachel, the first thing I thought of, like, God honest, was, oh my God, she looks like she's going to die. She looked way too skinny. She's five foot four and she only weighs 105 pounds. I'm five five and I don't weigh 105 pounds. I mean, you guys know, you've seen me on videos. I look like a normal person. I think I have a healthy weight and I don't think that 105 pounds is a healthy weight. Um, it's just plain and simple. I understand that she was, you know, she got down pretty low when she was on the ranch. Like she, I think she was at like 155 or something. So she didn't have that much more weight to lose. And so I can see where if she's, you know, competing for a quarter of a million dollars, I mean, like what we would all, I'm pretty sure do some pretty crazy things. However, that being said, I think that when you're the winner of, or you know, you become a public figure when you're the winner of a Biggest Loser. And um, obviously you still have a life, you still have a job and everything, but people look at you on social media and they want to see if you're upholding a healthy lifestyle. You know, so many people are obese in this country and like the Biggest Loser winner is usually very inspirational to people. They want to see how they did it, what they're eating, how they work out, because they you know, society wants that. They want a healthy lifestyle. And it really disappoints me that Rachel decided to go whatever route she did. I don't know what she ate or how often she worked out or whatever, but it seems like it had to be pretty drastic for her to get down that low um, to 105 pounds. And that really disappoints me because I think that she's setting a horrible example. I think that people have already have problems with food and with exercise, either over-exercising, um, overeating, undereating, under-exercising. There's, you know, it's just really hard for people to find a balance nowadays. And she's the perfect, perfect example of somebody who kind of gets caught up in, oh my gosh, I'm looking so good. I'm looking so good. And people are noticing that I'm losing weight. So why not? Let's just lose more. Let's lose more. Let's lose more. And before you know it, you know, here she is at 105 pounds tripping up the scale or tripping up the stairs to the scale to get on the scale for, her final way in. And I just don't think that that, I mean, okay, fine. I trip all the time. So she could have just tripped because she's clumsy. And I'm not one to say that, you know, she tripped because she wasn't eating. But at the same time, I mean, if you look at her, like everyone's first reaction when they saw her, it wasn't, oh my gosh, you look so great. It was, what? Like, no, you look way too thin. Like somebody needs to get this girl a burger, right? Um, not a burger, a grilled chicken, grilled chicken salad. I don't know. Um, so I just kind of wanted to say, you know, my opinion is that 
Like I said, I don't know what her happy weight is. Only her and her doctor know. However, I think that she looked unhealthy. And it looked like she, you know, in order for her to get down to 105 pounds, she had to have done drastic things. And I don't think that that's a good example that she's setting for society today. And it makes me sad. You know, I mean, I don't think that she should have won because, you know, based off of moral issues, it seems like she did some pretty shady things to lose that weight. Um, and I feel like, you know, the winner of The Biggest Loser should be the, the person who got the healthiest, but it's not called healthiest person. It's called Biggest Loser. So I understand that, you know, she lost the most weight, so she won the money. Um, will I think it help her in life? I don't, I don't really think so. Um, and it just disappoints me that she's setting such a bad example to society, to, to girls who I think should be celebrated for being strong and maybe a little bit bigger. Um, but I think that everyone should celebrate health and not skinny bodies. You know, we should all be strong and muscular and healthy, um, and eat whole foods and work out hard and, you know, be athletes as opposed to being skinny, frail, anorexic, or being obese and, you know, on the other end of the spectrum as well. So I was just really disappointed. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. If, do you agree with me? Um, do you not agree with me? You know, are you really angry at my opinions? It doesn't matter. I don't really, I, I don't care if you get mad at me and I don't, you know, I, I would love to hear what your opinions are. Um, so either comment below. Um, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post new workout videos Mondays and Wednesdays and, um, a vlog every Friday and, um, I totally just burped and I'm sorry I just ate lunch. So there you go. Um, and then also go to fitnessmovesyou.wordpress.com because there's a new workout posted today. Um, all right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.